Hello everybody and welcome to a very quick video on the fetch to code execute cycle. This is something that I've mentioned in a previous video, but I'd just like to go through it explicitly to make sure you're all familiar with the key points. What is the fetch to code execute cycle? Well, the processor is continuously fetching new instructions from memory, decoding them and executing them. This is what we call the fetch to code execute cycle. If you have a look at the diagram in the bottom corner here, we always start with the fetch part of the cycle. By fetch, we mean the instruction is moved from the memory, from the RAM, to the CPU. Once it's inside the CPU, the next stage is to decode the instruction. That means the instruction is understood by the CPU. Once the instruction is understood, the next stage is for the instruction to be carried out or executed. Once this is done, the cycle starts again, and we fetch the next piece of data from RAM and place it into the CPU. So this whole fetch, decode, execute cycle happens continuously from the moment you turn your computer on to the moment you turn it off. If you think about those clock ticks or clock, clock cycles we mentioned in the previous video, each time we have a tick, we can fetch, the next tick we can decode, the next tick we can execute. If we look at a slightly more complicated diagram, you can see that when we fetch, we're taking instructions from the RAM. They're getting transferred through to the CPU, where the instruction is held in the registers. We then take that instruction and we put it through to the control unit. Remember, one of the jobs of the control unit is to understand to decode those instructions. Once the control unit has done that, we can then carry out that instruction using the ALU, the arithmetic logic unit that does all the math and logical functions. So that's all you really need to know. We've got fetch, decode, execute. Fetch, decode, execute. If you remember that, if you remember what each section does, you'll be fine. Thank you very much, and I'll join you in the next video.